Uh, welcome to another video. Um, what have we got here? Um, it's a four port uh, KVM switch used to control uh, four PCs, four servers for one keyboard, mouse and monitor. Uh, in the back you have your your four inputs and then this goes out to your monitor and you got your two ports then for your keyboard and mouse this here i don't know i think it's money for storage i think you can store uh, put a usb key in there and you, you got some kind of storage as well um, uh, the four outputs here uh, have uh, special cables priority cables that have the VGA and the USB at the other end. Uh, some have PS2, depends on the model you get. But anyway, that's just what it does. But the problem with it is you can possibly hear the button there clicking on that one, but none of these ones here. It looks like they're all pushed back. So I would imagine the buttons have been pushed back inside on the uh on the pcb or the plastic is broke or something like that now to get in at this it's only a matter really of uh taking the four screws off here two screws here and then just pull it out with the top i won't bore you with that that's straightforward yeah which way does it push out? Does it matter? Okay. And here we are. Okay. Let's see what we can see. Okay. Let's get underneath the microscope. And then the brightness of it. Now, as we can see, even though this one here at the extreme right was uh, clicking, it's still slightly pushed back and it gets worse over here until this is what you see here. The tactile switch are totally uh, um, pushed back. Okay, uh, how to get this off? Right, I know we have four screws let me just get you back in the overhead I know we have four screws two at the back here and two at the front um, I think that might get our top um, PCB off and that's all we really need uh, so let me just see have something in it some kind of plastic or something let me just get, get something to take that out and this is what they have on top of the screw uh, manufacturers dirty tricks again um, and this stuff is hard so it's on see it's on it's not there okay it's a funny looking screw in it uh okay i was at that earlier on trying to get that one out okay i'll i'll stop the recording now and i'll when i get enough of this out to get a maybe get a screwdriver in it i'll get back to you It wasn't too hard to uh, remove at, at the end of the day. Uh, pushing down it was solid, but if you got the uh, knife underneath and lifted it, it came out pretty easy. Why they do this, I don't know. Why they insist on putting obstacles in your way when you're trying to... Uh, dismantle something okay 
Nastasia już idę. Boss, no. What else is holding it in place? Okay. I'm not going to be able to take it out here because it's got to pull out of that connector there as well. So I'm going to have to undo all these here as well. I'll pause the uh, record and then get back to you and I'll have that done. These are out and uh, should now just slide out. Get rid of that. And let's see what we have. Okay. Uh, we got a connector in here. And we got a connector down there as well. Okay. So it should just pull apart. Let's see. Okay. It's two uprights on it. Here, the two front top plates do not uh, be held in. Um, they just go through the base, um, and they screw directly into the bottom plate here. So, right, get rid of this, and let's have a look at this underneath the uh, microscope. What we have to do. Here's the bottom of our tactile switches. That, that's what they're called, tactile switches. These uh, devices here, these switches, tactile. And they're soldered in here with four legs. And what else have we got? Let me just look for the microscope. Yeah. Yeah, they got four legs and they got a uh, retainer here that's holding in place as well. So we should have two retainers. Oh yeah, sorry. Two legs and two retainers. That's more like it. Okay, right. So how are we going to go about this then? Um, I'm thinking about more people that don't have the equipment, uh, hot air guns, uh, vacuum, uh, sort of desoldering guns, uh, which I have. Let's show you on another PCB. We come up with another few methods. I don't mind if it damaged the PC, but this here is got to be got back working. But they've given me another two uh, faulty two-way ones to have uh, four switches in them. So I should be able to make something out of that. Uh, let's see. This is the uh, two PC version of it. There's only two switches and I'll I'll show you a look underneath the microscope what it should look like to those that don't know i know there's a lot of people out there that know already um, and there you go um don't know if it's picking up the click but uh, you see the stop push back so how do we get these out as i said i was thinking about people that ain't got a hot air workstation, vacuum tools and the likes. Uh, so I'm going to try a method. I don't mind if I damage the print on this board here. I don't mind. I don't mind. Right now, let's get a bit of solder. What I normally do with them is I normally get a bit of solder on them. Let's see what it come out. Uh, we'll pick this one first. Now, it's not the way I would do it. I have the tools and equipment to be able to do this without uh, damaging the PCB. I have the temperature of my iron set to about 400 degrees and see are we getting this first? Okay, I'm out of shot. Got plenty of solder on it. Loads of solder. Okay. Let's see, can I get it out without burning my hands and keeping this in view at the same time with the camera? That's the hardest bit. Okay. Mm 
Yeah, burns the hands of you. Okay, what can I do? Can I get uh, something underneath it to do a little bit of uh, leverage? Okay, maybe that'll do. I got a uh, It's got a little knife underneath it with a little bit of leverage on it so I don't burn the fingers to myself. You must remember there is a lot of uh, there's there's multiple layers of uh, PCB on this so I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm not putting much pressure on the uh, the knife. Go back and forth, and uh, they come out so. I'm just going to have a look the far side and see how we are getting on. See if we've done any damage to the PCB. And uh, it looks okay, but I will examine it when it's out. One side there that I've got to get out more so than the other. Okay, are we in? Josh. By the way, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way if you've got other ways of doing it. But you've got to have a bit of patience on this that you don't. I can hear it creaking and that means it's coming out. Okay, get a little bit more on it. Solder. Here's my flux. I have flux here on the table. I don't mind the chip there if it gets bridged because if it gets bridged I will just uh, take it off with a bit of wick. That's easy. Getting it out here without damaging the thing, that's one way of doing it. But you see it takes a lot of time. Let's have a look down. Well, as you can see, it looks like, um, I don't know if you can get it or not. Through the pins are nearly out. The only thing that's holding them in now is solder. That looks always helps. You should see, you need the tools for this. This is just as a last resort. I would suspect it's just uh, still held on by. Two front legs there, right? The two front legs. Okay. Do my one now. Oh, 
Okay. Let's get a bit of solder wick now and see can we clean up the uh, switch and then have a look at our PCB. Did we damage it? Okay, here we go again. Need something to hold it. Should hold it in place. Me. Bit of flux. Have a look at that on the a little bit closer. Yeah, no, that looks okay. Is it still clicking? Didn't get too hot. Okay, that's out. Uh, is it a way I'd recommend doing it? No, I would not. So, how are we going to get out the next one? I think with uh, the tools I have, uh, I won't be making do. Um, that is very risky. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of leaded solder on the heat these because that's easier to work with, lower melting point than the unleaded. That's why I'm putting it on there first. Makes life easier. But now let's see, can we clean up this board? See, did we do any damage to the actual PCB as well. And yes, can we clean out the holes? Because that's very important. Be a waste to exercise otherwise. Okay. You see, it's not too hard to get rid of the uh, the shorts on the uh, the chip. They'll come up no bother. Go over the top end of the board. And see, can we get rid of the solder at the far end? As you can see, a bit of flux won't go straight. Get a bit of a bit of hand. I might have got the far side now after that. Open the far side. Okay, yeah. We have two of the holes clear.
Let's clean that up and see that we get we solve out the holes. I think we have a little bit of solder in this hole here. Um, but the rest of them I think are clear, but now it could be fluxes inside it as well. We can find out, we'll have a look now. Let's see, can we get more out? The ones I'm having trouble with are actually not having trouble with the uh, mounting portion of the switch. I'm having a problem with the actual pin connectors themselves. Um, they seem to... Inside the board there, they seem to be solder inside. Oh, a little bit more. Give it another try. Any more than that, uh, I'd have to say it's a fail because uh, I'm going to damage the board if I keep on at this. Yeah, as you can see, it's come out the far side. Okay. I just hope we're going to be able to get them out now. I think I managed this. Let's clean it up. But as you can see, as a viable repair, this wouldn't be a way of doing it because it just takes too long. Yeah. Uh, For YouTube, as a just a one, just for people to have a look and see, can they get things done without having expensive workstations? Ah, yes. Minimum requirements. But um, I think I spoke too quick. You'll see that in a minute. Uh, try that up a bit. Yeah. As you can see, there's a new one in, right? Biggest problem that I have, right, is right there. Let me just focus that. What we normally have is a little pad here for the solder to adhere to, but this is gone from here. It's had it breaking away. So, right, while it's not impossible, you can solder it from, you might be able to get the solder down through it. Um, I would have a way around it, but I, I would, I'd have to say that's a fail, that particular one. Uh, it is possible, it is still possible to do, but that failed. But that's what I thought why would that would happen. Um, okay, I'd have to say that was a fail, even though it is possible. Uh, I would imagine um, a bit more practice at that I would have got it out uh, I've done it before uh, without uh, damage and stuff but I would be out of practice doing it like that because I have the tools nowadays to do it otherwise next attempt will be the proper way uh, with a, a vacuum pump and uh, see how we fare with that 
but that would be tomorrow uh, but for you it will be in the next second or so it's the next day and I'm going to remove this with my uh, vacuum sol desoldering tool and uh, possibly might have to use my solder iron I have uh, freshened up the solder here with a bit of lead, uh, leaded solder makes it easier to work with um, I have my other iron, my desoldering iron heated up and uh, let's see how it goes the pins are just are, uh, loose might have to freshen up the solder are you still in the shot? can we still see it? there we go all right it was just a bit I uh, didn't want to come out okay you see how easy that is compared to uh, using a normal solder iron and trying to prise it out and the damage you can do um, let's look at this underneath the microscope see here this one here is damaged uh, I possibly would have still getting away with that but I don't like doing that I'd rather have this outcome here uh, it just shows you need the tools um, I suppose if I practiced a lot I'd get that done but I'm going to uh, but I'm going to unsolder the rest of those uh, faulty switches and then I'm going to unsol uh, solder in new ones I won't uh, put you through the same uh, uh, process multiple times uh, it's the same process for every one of them taken out I have my tactile switches back in place uh, all I have to do now is solder them in uh, you got to make sure that they're level that they're, the mount brackets are flush with the board that they're not uh, lob sided or been going backwards and then all I got to do is really start soldering in my solder now without shaking the camera okay i'm going to speed it up for this tactile like switches are soldered in and uh, let's have a look underneath the microscope and see how they're getting on all it remains for me to do is clean the flux up a little bit is it big tissue we then have our um, bottom piece that goes on and what we got then is two standoffs that's got to go into it uh, and we got our four plastic uh, buttons that see in the front of the unit and what we have to do then is get these connectors lined up with these connectors here and the one in the middle make sure you centralize them that's good that's good put our front cover in, our front buttons in if they will go in without the take out the board okay no doubt they're going to fall back out again so I'll leave them out to last um, two screws
that holds it together. Okay, we've got our, our bottom cover. And that should slide into place. Okay. And we have two long screws. Yeah, I suppose we better stick these in now. Then we got this uh, up. Hopefully it goes on. Okay, we'll try getting them there. And then line up the two screw holes there. Not too sure if they're screw holes. Yeah, they are. Okay, that's that. Then we have this. Uh, bit of a nuisance this way keeps on popping out. Okay. But I'm sure as soon as I get this in place, it should stay. Okay. Two screws. Each side. All right. Now we got these to go on here. I'm sure. Okay. And let's just push them down. Sometimes they slip in place by themselves. Okay. Right. And then what we have here then is it looks like there's a bit of a bend in this one here. Uh, this must have got a fall, that must have broke those buttons. But anyway, I'm not going to put you through looking at me screwing them in. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I have them all in. Okay, I got a power supply here set up. I got uh, 5 volts uh, coming out in about 1, one amp. Uh, they don't take that much. Let's see. We got okay. We have life there. He's switching. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Right. Well, that's it really. Uh, an awkward little uh, repair. Uh, if you don't have the equipment, a little bit fiddly when you have the equipment. Um, you must remember I salvaged uh, tactile switches from old boards, uh, which in itself was double jobbing. Uh, I must get myself some of these tactile switches that, uh, that are upright on the boards like that, get some and uh, uh, have them in stock because um, I do quite a few of these. Okay, th uh, thanks for watching.